What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Joystick Ayrton. It's been a couple of months. I've bought a house. I've gotten married. A lot has gone on, not in just my world, but in the gaming handheld world as well. The landscape is just not the same as it was a couple of months ago, and it continues to shift and change as we head towards 2025, and I think now things are more shaken up than they've ever been, especially with new APUs coming out. Where is everybody headed? So let's go ahead and dive on in. Okay, so most importantly, I hope you are all doing well. Thank you for joining us here on the channel. There's a lot to talk about. Uh, the handheld gaming market right now is just kind of in this weird lull. Uh, the Ally X came out, decimated all. You kind of picked, okay, do I want this whole package? Do I want a giant screen with the Legion Go? Or maybe I prefer the battery life and Linux console-like experience on the deck. But now we're kind of riding just little small waves as we're ramping up towards Christmas and 2025. Uh, Zotac has told us most everything about their device. A lot of shortcomings there, especially with the price when you can grab something like an Ally X or you could get an Ally X open box from Best Buy for a heck of a deal comparatively. So there's a lot of things there that are kind of troubling. What is going on with MSI's new handheld? The last one was such a disaster. What can Battle Mage do for Intel in the space and the APU? <laughs> the pricing for these new generation AMD chips is also through the roof. How's that going to affect Zen 2 that's gonna be coming to things like the Legion Go? How's that going to affect new GPD devices? There is a lot to unwrap here. So we're gonna try and do that in the rest of this video. So let's go ahead and roll on into it. Okay, so we've been a little stagnant for a while. Uh, we're gonna try and make this relatively quick because there's a bunch of different CPU names, architecture names, things that most people don't care about. It's really just like, how is this going to perform? How is that going to perform? I'm obsessed with GPD, with all the small Chinese companies that make just incredibly unique form factors like this clamshell, but they're they're about to start getting priced out of the market to an extent. The new uh, HX AI chips from AMD, uh, they're quoting like double the price to previous APUs like the 8840U. That is going to definitely fall down to the consumer. Mostly, at least in GPD's case and AYN's cases, they're making money off the hardware. Unlike Valve, where they're making money off everything else and losing it on the hardware, these companies don't survive that way. So we're definitely gonna take the brunt of that. We also have the new Z2 chips that are gonna be coming down the line as well next year at some point. What price difference is that going to be? And what's the performance difference going to be? Because those HX chips from AMD, performance wise, they look phenomenal. Uh, definitely in some scenarios look like they might be actually justify that price increase depending on a bunch of other circumstances as well. So what's Zen 2, uh, those Z2 chips from AMD gonna do for Lenovo and Asus, and we'll see what Valve decides to do. I think the Steam Deck is kind of, I hate to say dead in the water, but I've been looking at, hey, maybe I wanna do this, maybe I wanna do that. And the reason I'm steering away from them is games are starting to be more and more demanding and having more and more trouble running on the deck. Um, Remnant 2 was one of them, Space Marine 2 another one of them. Uh, they've optimized incredibly, and they've dragged this thing out longer than I thought they could, but when is Valve going to update that thing, give us a little bit more juice? What is their plan? <laughs> Who really knows? But I think right now there's too many variables in the market to make a decision. I think if you purchase anything now, you might get one heck of a deal, but you also might be losing an insane amount of performance, and you might get a better deal down the road too. So everybody's in a little bit different of a situation. Uh, some people have 17 handhelds, I have one, maybe you have three, maybe you have none, maybe you're looking for that perfect one. Uh, nobody knows. What if that MSI claw ends up being amazing, the bigger screen? Uh, Battle Mage from Intel is coming. It should ship soon on the desktop side of things at some point, hopefully. And hopefully there's massive improvements. If the battery life's better, if the price is right, the performance is right, MSI can find themselves a home inside of this market. Asus is definitely on top with Valve. Our small manufacturers playing their parts as well. What is the Lenovo doing with the Legion Go Lite? How small is a Lite? If there was a Legion Go Lite that was a six inch, that was kind of like Win 4-like, uh, maybe not have the slide up keyboard, but it's a, a, a much smaller device, that could be super antagonizing uh, for a lot of people just being like, hey, whoa, because that Legion Go is massive. So I think the market is ever shifting. I think we're just in a lull period. We don't know what's going to happen. 
And that's super exciting because there's so much competition in the market and so many different players affecting everything. And Asus did such a good job and they put in that 80 watt hour battery and they raised the standard. That's what we want from all these companies. Bring something good to the table and continue to raise that standard. That's why I was so upset and disappointed with Claw because it did none of that. It didn't raise the standard. It didn't bring something to the table that hadn't been there before. It copied everything and then threw in a bunch of garbage. And that's what was disappointing there. What are we going to get longevity from the Zotac? I can already tell you that the price compared to the specs compared to the Ally is atrocious. So there's just a lot going on in the market and we really just kind of got to wait for it to play out. We've seen now that really the only manufacturer that doesn't do an annual yearly release of some kind so far the last few years is Valve. I can't wait to see what they have cooking because there has to be something down the line, I would assume, performance wise for us in the future here. So I think everybody should just hold tight real while and see what happens. But I wanna know what your thoughts and opinions are on this entire topic in the comments section down below. This was a relatively easy video to get back in after being so busy for the last couple of months, finishing off some school stuff, buying a house, getting married, blah, 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 blah. Um, so hopefully you guys are all doing well. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the video, the channel, the topic, handhelds, gaming, whatever it is down below, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.